Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? It's Adrian Boysell back for another video. Today's video is exciting because I got some new toys. I'm gonna to be working on a new seven gadgets every graphic designer needs, but in the meantime, I wanna show you some of these toys that I got, some of the tools that I'm getting, and one of them that I got, I'm super excited about. I've been researching, studying, looking at for a long time, and thanks to Ian, who actually put it on my radar, we went and picked it up at Best Buy. We even have some footage of that. But I want you guys to check out the new Stream Deck by Elgato. This product is incredible. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but this is a product that I just couldn't resist buying. Uh, something that I wanna incorporate into my workflow. But today, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna unbox this thing. I'm gonna show you what it comes with and then kind of just give you my overall opinion of how it looks, feels, and operates, and then we're gonna set it up. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna jump into it, make this a fairly short video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll. All right, so unboxing. I'm whip out my nice SOG. Got this from a friend, flip this over. Okay, pretty easy packaging it looks like here. Boom, boom, just a couple little cuts. All right, so now that we got that, I'm gonna flip this back over. Just hold this in the middle and lift this lid off. Ready for it? You ready? Boom. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna pull out the Stream Deck itself. Let's see here. Here it is. So as you can see, pretty nice little device. It's solid black with the logo up top. And it's got 15 buttons. So there's three different versions of this Stream Deck. They have a six button, I believe. They have a 15 button and then they have like a 32 button or something. So this one's got 15 buttons. I think it's a really nice little device. Uh, very compact. That's the one thing I like about it. Very clean, very simple. Not a lot to, to be worried about, but I'm trying to see here where we're going to connect it. We'll probably have to flip this up. Oh, here it is. So there's a little USB. So what they did now I noticed is they used to have it wired in. Well, now they've actually made it a USB so you can disconnect it, which is really nice and you could probably go buy a longer cord. So I'm really happy that they did that. So let's go ahead and take that out. The next piece here looks like it's gonna be, whoa, what is this? This looks like a big upgrade. I think this is the stand. So this is the new stand for the Stream Deck. What else we got in here? Man, I love opening this stuff up. And then they have this little box. Man, they've really stepped their game up. This is the box and we'll see what comes in here. It's probably the power cord and some other stuff. So you got the, the power cord or the cord that USB cord that connects right into your computer. And then uh, inside here, you have some literature. You got the little kind of Elgato book. And then it looks like you have the setup manual, which we're probably not gonna need to go through today, uh, but maybe we'll just kind of stream through real quick. Yeah, this is the quick start guide. So just real quick, we'll just take a quick look at it. So on the quick start guide, you know, go to elgato.com forward slash download, connect the Stream Deck directly to your PC or Mac. So that's. It's like step two. Step three is launch the app to customize your Stream Deck, drag actions from the right panel to drop them on. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Configure actions and personalize your keys with custom icons, that's exciting. You can use JPEGs and PNGs, drag and drop and create a folder. I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of different folders on my home screen. Tap the key back to exit the folder and return to your main configuration, which is great. So now that they have all that, right click keys to copy, delete, or move them. So you can do a right click on a key. Uh, face plates can be easily switched out for custom designs. That's really neat. You can do custom face plates and then enter your social media accounts to connect with your fans. That's really neat. So that's the little quick set guide. That was pretty straightforward. So elgato.com forward slash download. I think we got everything out of this box that we need. Yep, this stand looks really sturdy. So it's got the logo on the back. I like their logo. Okay, so this heavy part here, sits down on the back and then what they did here they came up with a really cool idea now that i figured this out i'm undoing the cable the usb cable and what we're going to do now is we're going to stretch this out it's pretty long it's about probably about four and a half five foot long cord so what we're going to do here is we're going to loop this into here through this hole i can tell they set this up this way so it's nice and clean and then we're going to go ahead and plug this in all right so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to stick this little in the housing it's kind of a fixed housing. There we go. So you can see here, nice and clean, simple setup. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my laptop and we're gonna hook this up to my device here. I don't know if I want it on the left or the right. I'm a lefty, so I think I'm gonna make it quick and easy and put it on my left-hand side. See that here. And then we'll go ahead and grab my laptop. We're gonna set this baby up. It's pretty straightforward. 
All right. All right, so we went to elgato.com forward slash downloads. Now that we're here, we have a Mac product. We need to select our specific product. So, all right, so if you got the new one from Best Buy, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the standard Stream Deck. You can see here, it's gonna pull it up. Here it is. This is the Stream Deck standard, standard Stream Deck. You just double check this is it. Yep, so this is the one that we bought. All right, so we're gonna go back here. We're gonna download from Mac. Perfect, take a second. Now that the program is downloaded, we can go over here. There it is. Okay, That's, you can see here, it already has the welcome in the center. That's doing the pulsing. So here's some, you got game capture, OBS studio, soundboard, stream deck, uh, different multi-action switches, streamable desktop setup, and I am all set up. All right, so now that we got this all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and configure this on another video. So make sure you check that out. That'll be dropping in just a couple of days. And I'll, when we have it live, I'll put it up in one of the little notes up here at the top of the video, but definitely check that out. I wanted to show you the unboxing. I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up and just give you my overall opinion of the device. I think these buttons are really nice. It's overall, it's nice and heavy design, but it's compact, which I really, really like. And I think they did a good job keeping everything clean, making the setup easy. If you haven't got one of these yet, you're gonna learn all about them on this channel. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.